Flagging is illegal unless there is a watertight public interest defence. It's without doubt uh, that newspapers have in the past abused the public interest defence on innumerable occasions and I am living proof of that because I was at the forefront of doing it at the behest of the Sunday Times newsroom under the editorship of John Witherow. The cases that are brought to me have already been sifted in a sense that the ones that aren't clearly in the view of the senior editors in the public interest don't really reach me. By the time they do, I think we can establish pretty clearly that it would be in the public interest. When working for the Sunday Times, my victims were always or nearly always high profile. There were celebrities, members of the government or cabinet. Impersonating me to get bank information. We had <laughs> blagging my lawyers. Uh, we had what's called reverse engineering of telephones. You say the Sunday Times is still trying to establish whether any journalist then on the paper sought to access Brown's mortgage information. Even if they had, such activities would have been legal as the story was clearly in the public interest. And even now, I'm afraid the editor of the Sunday Times has come to your inquiry and said that he had evidence of something that he was never able to, to, to prove and there was no public interest justification for the intrusion and the impersonation. forward to providing the details of each and every blag that I performed uh, with the aim that I can uh, in some way redeem myself for the activities of my past as a, as a, as a one-man crime wave for the Sunday Times.